What's up, world? Shout outs to my people down in Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all always show me a nice time when I'm down in Memphis. Got my little Memphis shirt on. But, you know, I hope a lot of y'all seen the show last night. Seen what I was talking about. Once again, this is Mr. Sand, 44 Man. Catch me on YouTube. Also on Facebook, Sanford Miles. I was talking on that a lot of the stuff that's going on in this city last night. Still got caught up in some bullshit today. Happened to be on Finkel driving down trying to see my one of my artists. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I'm driving down Finkel, you know, they got the little blinking lights because, you know, I don't know what the deal is with that. But, um, you know, as I'm driving down, a couple of cats run across my truck, run, you know, right in front of my truck. So I didn't know what was going on, just thinking some young kids. Right after I passed them, cats shots was fired. So, you know, I'm saying to myself, like, damn, you know, damn, did I just miss the dodge bullet, you know? I mean, I looked in my rear view mirror and I seen the cats running, but you know, it's just a little, it's just a little rough up in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get down with y'all early, or at least before I lose my sunlight, because um, I've just been busy today. I've been taking care of a lot of business. I want to drop on the subject of like we was talking about yesterday. How the black man is so endangered on way we try to do things when we try to succeed in this world. And how so many people try to take advantage of us in this world. The premise is, if you broke and poor, we want to see you locked up and doing life. But if you do have money and the finances, we'll deal with you. But we will bring IRS and all kind of people at you. So therefore, if you ain't up on that then therefore we will be doing something like uh, a Wesley Snipes on you or Lauren Hill. We're going to send your ass to prison. You know, we ain't going to give you time to work it out or no matter what your reason is, we're going to still lock you up. That's the respect of it all. For the entertainment of you putting on a dress and entertaining my ass as a woman. You didn't pay your taxes. So I don't care how funny you was, or how ugly you was, or how you made yourself look, or how you degraded or lowered yourself. That's just something that uh, you're going to have to deal with. Because we locking your ass up. You feel me? So, the sense of when you have accomplished something, you got to kind of hold on to everything you have. Because everybody out there forcefully trying to take what you got. And if you're not legit with what you got, then, you know, you're going to be in a real bit of trouble. I'm working in that situation right now where them people done took advantage of me. You know what I'm saying? Just because I got money to pay you, you just take advantage of me because, what, a, a brother is trying to do something right and trying to get something right done. But it's not that you really care about me and my problem. It's just that you care about me and my green. Well, that's cool. And like I said... Once again, to all my haters, I'm wishing you the best luck because I will be at you. I want to say some shots out to my man. Oh, Rough, you my man, man. We're going to get on that. You know, my man's people is going to school, get beat up and raped. The fuck is that all about? But you know you asshole motherfucker You gonna be dealt with Bleed that Bleed that Cause the APB is all out on you Little girl can't go to school In my fucking city Without risking being raped and beat You motherfuckers is out cold man I don't understand it You know There is no unification amongst us None whatsoever all that keep it real shit. I'm keeping it real right now. Nigga, I'm telling you right now. I'm keeping it real. I'm letting you know. This is how it's going down. You know, you hurt my people. They families. You know what I'm saying? My family, I got to worry about all of that damn time. You know, 
I'm just doing this right now because, like I said, once again, I'm trying to keep my sunlight together so I can get this out to y'all. But I'm going to show you some videos on how the news clips is. Got a cat up here in Highland Park. He all shot up dead because, you know what I'm saying, well, what? You know, people running around getting shot up late at night. Nobody know nothing but everybody outside. You know, that's no snitch, no tail deal. You know, my thing of it is like this. If you do something to somebody or make an agreement with somebody and it's undermined and you both know that, but one of you happen to cross the other on some bullshit, whatever it may be, let me tell you something. I understand in retaliation. But the way y'all retaliating is, is, is really uncalled for. We got a house fire with folks been torched in a house on some retaliation shit. Kids got killed. Another one for Detroit. Another one of our babies dead. You know, why the fuck did y'all even have kids? You know, it's, it's, it's hard enough being a parent, and especially a responsible parent. But when I see y'all parents out here, man, kidnapping your babies, you're dumping your babies in dumpsters, y'all here just putting them out here but then you don't really want the responsibility that comes with that what's up with that that's just I mean that's just keeping it real you know it's, it's just saddening to see that right after we thought that this city was doing so good we wasn't we was doing bad. I don't understand what went wrong. But the only thing I can say is, if we don't change our ways, people, we're going to be in a world of trouble. And it's not so much going to be the older people that's going to cause the problems and the troubles. It's going to be these young kids. But see, they scared. They scary. See, they'd rather rob you past the whiners up there on Linwood. They'd rather do that kind of shit. See what I'm saying? You beat this man down and he buried Whitney Houston. He's there to preach on her behalf. And that's the respect he got from the hood. That's the hood, y'all. That's how we gave him our thanks. We had some knuckleheads go out there and rob the man for a watch. For his fucking watch. Is that, you know, what's that all about? I love my city once again, y'all. But for real, I don't know what to say. We in a world of trouble. And I don't even know how we going to get out of it. Our kids don't respect us. We don't respect each other. We on Facebook talking this bullshit about how we going to beat your ass. And how we hate these fake ass niggas and all that bullshit. Put it out there. Put them on front street. I mean, if you going to put them out there. You going to talk about it, be about it. But my thing is. You know, I just don't understand why we can't get along. We can't come together. We ain't going to do nothing, man. Black people, each and every one of you, I don't give a fuck where you are, what side of the planet you are. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what am I doing today to make my world a little bit better? What do I think I can do for myself in my community to make it a little bit more better. Because if you don't at least ask yourself that question, then baby, our days are numbered. And everybody know they number. This is Sandman. Check me out on Facebook, Sanford Miles. 
or hit me up on YouTube. Mr. Capital M, small r, capital S, small a, small n, the number 44, capital M, small a, small n. I'll give y'all a holler later on, man. Just take a look at some of this footage that I got coming out there. Why you thinking about this? Ask yourself. Damn. That's some real hell of a footage. What does that say about me? I'm out. Y'all be careful.